presentation and thanks Professor Joe for the presentation for the keynote. Um, it's, it's quite strange that the Portuguese comes to Japan and presents a New Zealand study, but uh, we've been here for 500 years, almost 500 years ago, and that's globalization. Um, so what I, I came here to say is immunological common knowledge, it's, it shows that the inactivated vaccines need also, always a booster, or almost always. Uh, and usually that booster is four to six weeks after the, the starting point uh, in order to achieve immunity in, in short time. But some studies have successfully demonstrated that uh, traditional booster interval isn't always the optimal result and you don't have always, always the most optimal result. Uh, and mainly studied was studied for rabies uh, different uh, vaccination protocols, uh, and there's the, the literature. Uh, and the objective of this study was the first objective was to show that if we don't do um, the four weeks inter vaccination interval against six uh, months uh, interval from the primary application, uh, whether we have an inferior, inferior result or not. And uh, the secondary objective was to show that uh, an oral supplement of vitamins and minerals, it has any impact in the, the response or not. So what we did uh, was a blinded uh, study, a parallel group, uh, and designed by a non-inferiority field trial in a New Zealand uh, dairy farm without BVD, BVD free. Uh, Olstein Friesian calves, uh, 16 to 18 weeks old, and the dams were previously vaccinated before the, uh, the calving. Um, only to show the, the results and the importance, uh, we are, we've done a randomized controlled trial. Uh, regarding practical uh, actuation, it's the best that you can, uh, the best results that you can have. Uh, so what we did was an age rank, uh, randomized in four different groups, one to four, and then we randomized, randomly uh, attributed them a different treatment. So we vaccinated uh, 20 animals, vaccinated with plus vitamins and minerals, again, vaccine, and vaccine plus minerals and vi vitamins in a six months court and four weeks court. Um, when we did the enrollment, we had two losses, two exclusions due to illness and to lameness. Uh, so we did this allocation. We vaccinated all the animals in the group A and did pulled BVD Eliza. Eliza. Uh, then 153 days after the first experiment, uh, after the fac first vaccination, we vaccinated groups the, the four months, the four weeks cohort, C and D, and then in 181 days of experiment, we vaccinated all the groups uh, from different uh, uh, courts, age courts. And 15 days later, we grabbed uh, blood samples and did uh, viral neutralization tests. Uh, the outcomes of the, the study, no BVD exposure. Uh, we even had 10 sentinel calves that showed no BVD exposure all over the, the, the experiment. And uh, we tested uh, for viral neutralization in the reference lab that's in, uh, in Australia. Uh, and a Neutralicus type 1C uh, C, uh, strain. We transformed the, the viral neutralization titer uh, in a logarithmic, logarithmic way and uh, we created a geometric mean between the 20 animals. Uh, and we also did, regarding to, to model this in a statistical way, uh, we also did a geometric mean ratio in order to, to show us the non-inferiority margin and we 
with 0 0.63 was the lower limit in order to consider it inferior. Uh, if it's above, if it's zero, it's equal. If it's uh, above zero, in this case it's one, uh, it's, it's superior. I'll show just to explain. So the results on the first uh, um, impact or group was the vitamin and mineral impact, if it has impact or not. And what if we showed is regarding the titers, supplement, supplemented animals and non-supplemented animals, it's, there's no statistical difference, okay? So it's, it doesn't have a lot of impact. And regarding the geometric mean ratio, it doesn't, uh, it's above 0 0.63, so it's non-inferior. Inferior. Regarding the intervaccination interval, when we go and see geometric mean titers from four weeks to six months, we see here on the graph, it's, it's quite superior. And when we go for geometric mean ratio, it's statistically uh, significant. And we are above the non-inferiority uh, equality. Uh, so we can prove that's uh, superior to the to regular uh, protocol. To vaccinate six months or four weeks, it's superior to six months. In conclusions, these two uh, types of programs, I think it's, it's more, more interesting to start from the end. Uh, it, it really showed in New Zealand's conditions with this type of on-label change of uh, vaccination that we can have a greater flexibility in the, to vaccine the animals in the field. Um, also, everyone, and uh, today I was talking on the, on the path to year that we always think about inactivated vaccines to have a booster four weeks later. And immun immunologically, nowadays we know that that's not always the optimal way to go. And uh, with this kind of test, we've proven that's quite interesting, that you can have good results or better results with different uh, protocols that we've done for quite some time. And uh, you have much more experience than us uh, uh, here. And it's, it's quite interesting to see that common knowledge, nowadays we need to prove that we can do different. And so I expect, I even uh, challenge my technical director, that we could, we could try to do this and have this in, in, uh, in our uh, market, uh, for example. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all for this opportunity, Geert also, uh, Joe for the, all the knowledge that you've shared, shared with me, and uh, my colleagues in Portugal, they are still working and I'm here learning. Thanks a lot. Expect some questions.